All right, with this uh, forecast video update on this uh, Tuesday, the April the 9th, this is the evening edition of Josh Brown. Well, it's been another beautiful day <clears throat> we had here across Middle Tennessee this afternoon. We had temperatures uh, in the upper 70s, but I have to say uh, the record high temperature in Nashville was around 80 degrees. So finally, Music City reached a high temperature around 80 degrees for the first time in 2019 as of today. So, so that's a pretty impressive high temperature that uh, the, the, the uh, city saw uh, earlier, but other, but other places across Middle Tennessee saw upper um, 70s uh, earlier. <clears throat> excuse me, earlier today. So, uh, we're, and if, and for those of you wondering, we're expecting a, another beautiful one. Uh, you know, a beautiful day tomorrow, like we've seen today. Uh, that's correct. The answer is yes. It's correct. We're going to see more uh, sunshine tomorrow, and we'll see warm temperatures, which we'll look at the uh, future cast part here in just a little bit. But let's go. Let's take a, let's take a look what's happening with our temperatures right now, currently across Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky on this uh, Tuesday evening. So let me just give me just a second here. All right, here we go. So uh, temperatures right now across Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky are in the um, mostly still in the upper 60s and low 70s right now. So again, a little bit cooler uh, right now. So right now here in Nashville, we got a current temperature right now around 75 uh, at this uh, 8 o'clock hour. We got uh, 74 in Gallatin, close to around 70 right now in Clarksville, but you're going down around going down to around 69, 69 degrees for you folks uh, up there, and also 68 is the current temperature right now up in Hopkinsville, 70 in Bowling Green. And we got uh, 73 right now in Paris, uh, 75 over in uh, Lawrenceburg, and 70, 73 degrees right now is the current temperature, both in Franklin and Murfreesboro. We have 74 in Lebanon, 71 right now in Cookville, and temperatures over towards the plateau, places like Jamestown and Crossville. You're sitting in the, sitting in the, you're sitting in the upper 60s right now, so it's, it's, it's uh, 68 degrees for you folks, for both over in Crossville and Jamestown at the moment. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, uh, feature cast here we're expecting for lows uh, tonight, and of course, uh, highs for uh, tomorrow. So give me just a second here. And by the way, for those that are just popping on into the uh, Facebook live stream, I really, really appreciate if you could go ahead and uh, share the feed because, like I always say every time during my, like, during my live videos, especially at the beginning part of my live videos, is that sharing is caring. So just to keep that in mind. So if we take a look at the future casts, and we'll wait to get this link thing lit up here in just a second. So we're expecting uh, temperatures to drop down into the uh, 50s, so maybe some upper 40s for lows uh, for tonight and even early tomorrow morning. So I think you may need the jacket or the sweater before you step out the door uh, first thing in the morning as you head to work and school, because temperatures, once again, will be a little bit cooler, but but thankfully will be mostly dry uh, for the for the. Uh, night tonight and of course uh, even for the morning hours but as we head into the afternoon same thing mostly dry plenty of sunshine temperatures once again it's possible that some spots could hit low 80s like we've seen today and of course even this past week as well some locations not everybody but some spots could see temperatures in the low 80s again uh, for tomorrow look at this look at the high temperature here for Nashville just want to show a high temp around 81 at around 3 p.m. in Nashville 80 in Gallatin same thing for Clarksville Close to around 80, but around 79 over in Hopkinsville for the high temp tomorrow. Same thing for Paris, uh, 80 for the high temp tomorrow, as well for Murfreesboro, 78 in Franklin. And about 77 degrees for the high temperature for tomorrow, as well down in the uh, Lawrenceburg area. And the same thing for Cookville. And a little cooler, but still milder, you know, where temperatures where we should be here for the Cumberland Plateau. We're talking about low to mid-70s, so we're talking about 74 for Jamestown and 73 in Crossville for high temperatures uh, as we head into the day. On your uh, Wednesdays, we're expecting the weather to stay dry. But for those who are wondering when our next chance of rain is going to move in, so let's take a look at the feature cast part of the precipitation. So give me just a second here. <clears throat> and we'll, we'll give it just a minute to, oh, there we go. Yeah, you can always give it just a minute to load up the feature cast here. So again, for tomorrow, we're expecting the weather to stay dry. But as we skip this to uh, Thursday, uh, looks like during the day Thursday should be okay. Temperatures will be cooling down just a little bit, but still, it, it should be warmer than ever where we should be here for April. We're talking about uh, temperatures in the mid to upper 70s, and again, some spots could hit around 80 degrees possible as well on Thursday before this uh, next system rolls in. So this is Thursday night. So this is the next system I was talking about right here. This is the next chance for some rain. We'll be watching uh, really carefully. That could rain, uh, <clears throat> again, that's... <clears throat> 
well, at least it won't be until late uh, Thursday night. We'll see a chance for some rain, maybe a few storms to try to roll through Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky. So it looks like the evening tomorrow, or not tomorrow, uh, Thursday looks to be okay. But as we get into the overnight hours, we're expecting, uh, here's what we'll call it this potential, the squall line that may move in towards Middle Tennessee as we head into, this is after midnight, late Thursday night. So it shows the squall line staying off towards the west of I-65 here. So it looks like Nashville may be mostly dry. So it looks like it may not be until early Friday morning we'll see some storms ahead of, ahead of this next uh, cold front. And some of these storms could turn strong, but we're not expecting like a widespread severe weather uh, outbreak or anything like that. But some storms could, could contain some gusty winds and maybe some hail uh, possible like we've seen uh, yesterday and, of course, on Sunday. So it's almost pretty, almost pretty, much, pretty much the same thing, at least. Uh, so far, we have not seen a, a whole lot of widespread severe weather outbreaks from Middle Tennessee this year of 2019, which, remember, it's severe weather season is spring, and usually as we get into mid to late April, which is you know, beginning next week, and of course throughout May, and even to the first half of June is when the severe weather activity gets uh, uh, pretty busy across parts of the United States. So just uh, keep that in mind. And I want to show you, I want to show you on future cast here the blizzard uh, that's going to be happening here for the next couple of days across the Midwest region, because uh, that's a, that's another story as well, another big story <clears throat> uh, to tell you about. So give it just a second here. And by the way, there are some severe storms as well ahead of this uh, cold front across parts of Nebraska. See the little uh, indicator right there? That's the indicator of a possible tornado uh, in northern Nebraska. But, uh, but if we take a look at the uh, future cast... Uh, for uh, at least for the Midwest region. We'll zoom out a little bit closer so we can get a better view. Because again, you notice those red shaded colors right here, by the way, across parts of uh, Colorado, parts of northwestern Kansas, and across parts of Nebraska, uh, South Dakota, and Minnesota. Uh, that is what we call it a blizzard warning. Yeah, the, yeah, there is a blizzard warning in effect right now for uh, the areas across parts of the Great into the Northern Plains region, always far north is uh, Minneapolis. That will go through uh, at, least, at least through Thursday, we'll say. So let's take a look at future casts here and so we can get a perfect view of the uh, snow, uh, you know, the timing of the snow that will be impacting the Midwest region as we head into uh, the day on uh, Wednesday and again on Thursday. So as always, let's give it just a second to get future casts to load up. So it looks like, so it looks like uh, well, it may not be until 6 o'clock in the morning. So this is 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. It shows that there'll be a whole swath of snow trying to form across, or at least, or at least trying to form across parts of South Dakota, Wyoming, Colorado, and northern, or not northern Montana, southern Montana, excuse me. And it, look, it looks like the snow will be uh, stretching out always far, at least far to the west of Chicago. You can see a little pink shaded color, so it means that there may be a little bit of some ice uh, possible with this uh, big system. We're calling this a bomb cyclone. That means, you know, we have severe storms, you know. You know, ahead of the, you know, well, well, basically on the warm side of that system, and then of course uh, behind that, with some of that uh, leftover moisture that could produce, you know, snow, like what portion of the mid of the Midwest and the plains we'll be seeing uh, for the next few days, beginning tomorrow. <coughs> so as we head into the uh, day for uh, tomorrow, this is tomorrow afternoon here. We're expecting, look at this here, still snow. We're talking widespread snow continuing here across parts of Nebraska, uh, to Colorado, and across portions of uh, Montana. South Dakota, I think we're in South Dakota already, uh, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. So, so it's going to be really a big mess, at least for the next uh, few days across parts of portions of the Plains region. So if you got big travel plans, whether you're heading to, we'll say, um, either to Nebraska, South Dakota, we'll, maybe uh, we'll say uh, Cheyenne, Wyoming, or, Minia or Minia uh, Minneapolis, or, or Milwaukee, <clears throat> maybe uh, beginning tomorrow or Thursday, I have a feeling that your flight could get canceled or delayed because of this uh, big snowstorm that's going to be impacting uh, the th those areas as we head into uh, the next few days as we finish the rest of this uh, work week. And as we get, as we continue as we continue to tomorrow evening, we're expecting still still heavy heavy snow continues uh, across parts of Nebraska, South Dakota, and once again across parts of uh, Minnesota. It looks like a little snow can mix it across parts of Michigan as well. With some of those rain showers, and still the snow will continue across Wisconsin. So again, <clears throat> so again, this could be really a big mess. Here we're talking some spots could pick up nearly up to about a foot of snow uh, under that uh, blizzard under that uh, blizzard warning uh, area across parts of the uh, Plains region. So again, this is a big storm. We'll be watching carefully, but at least the good thing is this will not. Excuse me. At least the good thing is this will not. Excuse me. I'm talking too fast here. At least the good thing is that this will not be impacting Middle Tennessee, so we're not expecting any snow in the forecast. So that's going to stay up to the north. So that's uh, the good news to hear. Okay.
Okay, we got to get Future Castle to lo get loaded up again. So give it just a second. And here we go. So as we head into the overnight hours, late tomorrow night and early Thursday, still more heavy snow continues for the Plains region. It looks like some snow will start to uh, transition uh, from rain <clears throat> across parts of uh, northern uh, Michigan and across parts of Wisconsin. And again, those pink shaded colors right there across parts of uh, Minnesota to Wisconsin and across parts of Michigan, that's indicated some freezing rain and sleet that could make sense. It could be a little bit of some ice. So they're talking a, a big late season wintry uh mess, uh, especially for especially for this month of April, and that, it, it has happened. It has it has happened before uh, across parts of the United States. So, you know, like I guess for every year, I guess, but uh, it doesn't happen all the time. So, uh, so that's so that's gonna be a really big storm. I know a lot of people that live across parts of the Plains region or even up in Michigan are not gonna like that this kind of weather as we head into the next uh, few days. So if you maybe watch me live here on Facebook, whether if you're watching from Michigan to Wisconsin to Minnesota to South Dakota and across parts of Nebraska, uh, I kind of feel sorry for you folks, but that's, this is what this is what you're going to do with here for the next few days here. We're talking temperatures getting colder with uh, plenty, plenty of snow. So we're talking a lot of wide dock conditions here for the next uh, couple of days as we uh, finish the rest of this uh, second week of April. Okay, we've got to get, get future Castle load up again. <clears throat> so as we head into 8 o'clock Thursday morning, still snow, heavy snow continues across the, across the upper Midwest into the Plains region, so that's why the snow will take a while to go away. So it's not just tomorrow, but that may continue at least through at least part of the day on Thursday. <clears throat> and if we pour this here to as we get into Thursday afternoon... <clears throat> okay, Future Castle always, always needs to get load up here. I don't know why. <laughs> but as we head into the uh, <clears throat> the Thursday afternoon time frame, this is 1 p.m. Uh, Central Time works. As you can see, the snow should be still staying. So this is going to we'll call it a bomb cyclone that's going to happen across parts of the Midwest region and across parts of the plains as we head into the next few days. So not just tomorrow, but remember, also on Thursday is when parts of the plains and the Midwest region will see that uh, big snowstorm potential, of course, including blizzard conditions as well. So yeah, that's gonna be it's gonna be, it's gonna be a big mess. It's gonna be a big mess uh, as we head into the next few days here. But again, for Middle Tennessee, thankfully we don't have to deal with any of this uh, wi those whiteout conditions because uh, you know we want temperatures to stay warm where we should be for you know for April. So, uh, but at least the good thing that's gonna stay up to the north. So that's uh, like and that's the good thing. And it looks like the snow will still still once again continues. But it seems like parts of Nebraska and South Dakota, the snow may start to taper down a little bit as we head into uh, Thursday night. And of course, here's this uh, other system. Well, actually, I think this is this is the same system right here that's going to bring the chance for some rain here from Middle Tennessee as we head into uh, late Thursday, Thursday night and early Friday morning. And of course, you notice those uh, the little squall line right there. Yeah, that, these are stronger storms here, so that could form into a squall line. Uh, and it, it, does, it does show around midnight, late Thursday night, that potential squall line will be pushing towards western Indiana and across parts of Michigan, stretching back down towards west Tennessee. So uh, like so it's, it's going to be really a crazy, crazy week this week of uh, some nasty weather across parts of the United States with a big snowstorm that may produce blizzard conditions uh, for tomorrow and Thursday, and of course even another round of some storms as we wrap up this uh, second work week of April. So crazy, crazy stuff here. Of course, the weather's been gone crazy, you know, so far this year in 2019. Like Middle Tennessee, I you know we we, we did a lot of flooding that we had a couple months ago, at least for about a week in late February. We had we had uh, a lot of flash flooding concerns, and of course so we actually had. Um, well, I guess that was pretty much it here for Middle Tennessee. I guess we've been dealing with a lot of flooding in February, but of course last month in March we didn't see anything totally bad. Uh, but uh, we'll see what happens for the rest of this uh, spring season. Whether if we get some maybe more severe weather across Middle Tennessee or not, so we'll see what happens. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look back here, uh, back down to our viewing area right now here. So again, I just want to show you the, about that uh, big storm um, that I've been talking about uh, that's going to be happening across parts of the Plains region as we head into uh, the next few days. So again, if we got big travel plans, again, whether we're heading to Minneapolis or to uh, Milwaukee or parts of Nebraska or Kansas or even parts of Colorado or Wyoming, uh, we'll say either tomorrow or Thursday. Again, you may want to be aware that there could be potential for some major, major cancellations and delays for flights. So, as always, I think before you leave your house to go to the airport, I think you may want to uh, check your uh, your fly status to make sure 
you know, if your flight's running on time, whether it's delayed or canceled, because that'll be much easier, uh, you know, than than just uh, waiting like when you get to the airport. So, uh, yeah, that's that's what's e- that's the easiest thing to do. So just always check your flight status. You know, like going to uh, flynational.com, and you'll see. Uh, just go to go to the departures part, and it'll and it'll show which uh, city that you're heading to, which airline you're on. Just and it'll tell you which flight will be a flight it that will be canceled, or delayed, or going to be still be running on time. So just uh, give you a heads up on that. <clears throat> and again, here's a live look at the radar right now for those who are just maybe just popping on in, wondering if we're expecting rain in the forecast tonight. The answer is no. So everything should be okay. Again, we're going to be a little bit cooler. So like I said, we'll be in the upper 40s into the low 50s for lows tonight. And again, we're expecting uh, weather to stay dry as we head into uh, the day tomorrow, like we've seen today with temperatures in the upper 70s and with some spots possibly ra- race, my race into the low 80s before and even maybe even the same thing on Thursday as well before the next uh, system moves in as we head into uh, late Thursday and early Friday. So just uh, please keep that in mind. But as we head into the forecast, let's, let's check the forecast for uh, Friday afternoon, uh, shall we? So this is Friday of uh, this week, as we close the second week of uh, February, or not February, uh, April. So it looks like uh, some of these showers may may taper off by the afternoon of this this Friday. That should give us some clear skies, uh, if if this is correct, and uh, temperatures looks to be uh, still milder. We're still talking about temperatures in the uh, 70s, but we don't see any 80s uh, on the map as we head into uh, late week. So I think that's a little that's a little bit of maybe good news, I guess, because it makes it a little bit humid, but. But we're still going to feel like spring here across Middle Tennessee as we head into uh, the rest of this week here. <clears throat> so just uh, keep that in mind. But look at all those temperatures here across much of the southeast. We're talking about temperatures feeling much, much warmer than average. Looking down towards Florida, they're expecting temperatures to feel like summer at least pretty early. And, you know, Florida sees summer pretty early every year, uh, <clears throat> uh, every year down there. So, yeah. We're talking about temperatures in the upper 80s and low 90s as we head into uh, the rest of this week and maybe into the Possibly for the rest of this month, if the forecast doesn't change much. All right, as we head into the day on Saturday, it looks like uh, the GFS shows there may be a few showers trying to hang across Middle Tennessee, well, at least parts of the uh, of Middle Tennessee uh, for that day. But uh, looks like think the weather should be looking pretty okay for that day. But again, this is our next system. We're going to be tracking carefully. They'll be coming in from the southwest, pushing through the northeast. This is uh, that's going to bring us back us more moisture from coming in from the Gulf of Mexico. So it looks like it may not be until Sunday. We'll see a good chance for some rain. Which we'll look at the uh, next run of the GFS here in just a second. But if we look at the high temperatures here for Saturday, we're still talking temperatures still staying pretty, you know, pretty comfortable. We're talking about temperatures in the uh, we'll make we'll may start to cool down a little bit after this uh, first front moves through by Friday night. We're talking about temperatures in the uh, upper 60s to so maybe even low 70s. So not bad. So it will still feel like spring. So so it looks like Saturday should be a really good day to be, you know to do something fun outdoors. But just be aware there may be a few showers, uh, but not a big rainmaker to deal with. And again, here's this uh, big system we're watching carefully, and that's gonna, that could produce a chance for a few storms here across parts of Texas and Louisiana, and some could turn severe. We'll look, if we take a look at the instability values, and yes, there, of course, by the way, the SPC, the Storm Prediction Center, has actually put a risk of severe weather for parts of uh, eastern or southeast Texas and across parts of Louisiana and Mississippi uh, for the day on Saturday, so just to keep that in mind. But for us, we should be looking okay. Like I said, there, there could be a few showers, but... Uh, but again, the big, but again, the big uh, rainmaker will will be re- will not return as we head into uh, Sunday. And here it is, right here. So yeah, we're talking the potential for some he- potential for some uh, heavy rain, and maybe some strong storms as we head into uh, this Sunday. They can use, they can be want to stay tuned to this uh, forecast carefully because uh, we're still too early going to details in this, and you know, you know that may change as we get closer. But if you have plans on Sunday, you know, especially outdoors. You know, being outdoors uh, that day may not be the best day, to, you know, to do that because we're talking about uh, some heavy rain with the potential for strong storms. Uh, high temperatures that day will be uh, still warmer than average. Here we're talking about temperatures in the uh, 70s. So if we look at the instability values, and yes, it shows that some storms could turn strong to severe, but it uh, looks like the severe threat will not be really as high. But that's something we're going to have to watch really carefully. So, uh, so it looks like this, there's a potential we could see some strong and maybe even some severe storms on Sunday. Again, this is the instability, but uh, remember, we're still about uh, 
about five days out. So, again, this could change as we get closer. So, as always, as always just please check back with me here 24-7 for more additional changes to uh, that forecast. So, it looks like, Saturday, looks like Saturday should be the only day that you can go do something fun outdoors before the big system, at least the second one, moves in as we head into uh, Sunday. <clears throat> All right. As we head into Monday of next week, uh, this is the this is the fifteenth of April. We're expecting uh, maybe a few leftover showers across parts of the midstate, but I think we should be looking pretty okay. Maybe as we head into Monday afternoon of next week here, as this big system moves off towards the east coast. But look at the Central Plains region. You see the weather looks to be rain free, but uh oh, looks like another system could try to develop across parts of the northwest Pacific coast region, giving the chance for maybe a little bit of some rain, maybe a little snow, but. Uh, not for, we don't have to deal with any winter weather for Middle Tennessee, and let's hope we don't feel like winter for the rest of this month, which so far we haven't, but let's hope it doesn't. But temperatures will be a little bit cooler, though, as we head into Monday of next week here after this uh, front moves uh, to the east here. We're talking about uh, temperatures cooling down into the uh, 50s and maybe some low 60s uh, as we head into that day, and temperatures may start to really warm back up into the uh, 70s across parts of uh, Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas, so... <clears throat> so it looks like, a, you know, since, you know, parts of the, the Plains region will see the chance for a big snow potential for tomorrow and Thursday, hopefully by uh, this weekend or maybe to early next week, all that snow should be able to melt away pretty quickly as these temperatures, will, as these uh, temperatures, you know, will warm back where they should be, you know, for this time of year. All right, as we head into a week from today, this is Tuesday, April the 16th. It looks like we'll be looking pretty dry for Middle Tennessee and across much of the Plains region and for the southeast as well. But again, here's this uh, new system. We could watch carefully, but uh, that's just it's far ways ahead. Uh, but that's going to stay off towards the west coast region. So for the most part, maybe just enjoy the nice weather for next Tuesday. So it looks like we'll be dry for at least, at least for the first half of the work week uh, next week. And it looks like temperatures will start to warm back where we should be. Like, like I said, we'll see, we'll see temperatures, uh, warm back into the low to mid seventies, but I don't see any low eighties in the forecast for, uh, next week. So it looks like it'll be this week we'll see some uh, low eighties for some spots because temperatures will start to, uh, return in the seventies as we head into, uh, that day, but it'll still be warmer than average, you know, for this time of year. So just, uh, keep that in mind. And as we head into Wednesday of next week, this is a week from tomorrow, uh, this is the 17th, we're expecting the weather, at least for now, to stay mostly dry, but we're tracking this next system. Uh, that may produce our next chance for some rain as we head into next Thursday, but it's just too early to go to details. We'll look at the uh, next run here in just a second, but as far as temperatures go for highs, we're expected to stay warmer than average here. We're still talking about temperatures in the uh, 70s, and with these uh, next chance for some rain that may happen across parts of the uh, uh, Ozarks region, we'll say St. Louis to Little Rock here, it means temperatures may start to cool down into the uh, 60s as these uh, showers, maybe even a few strong storms will push through. And uh, temperature, or not temperatures, the instability value shows, again, there could be a few strong storms here, and some could turn severe across portions of Texas, we'll say from Houston to uh, Dallas-Fort Worth, uh, west of Little Rock into uh, Kansas City. But, again, we don't expect any rain for now for next uh, Wednesday, but, again, you may never know, this may change as we get closer and we call this the pure land of uh, voodoo. So it seems like it may not be until Thursday morning of next week, this is the 18th year, that we'll see some rain trying to move back into Middle Tennessee ahead of this uh, 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 new system we'll be watch we'll could we'll watch carefully. But if we look at the morning glow temperatures for Thursday, we're talking about temperatures in the uh, 60s. Again, these are not actual high temperatures. These are morning glow temperatures here for next Thursday, so just keep that in mind. But in terms of severe weather, uh, yeah, some storms could turn strong. Maybe some could turn severe, but does it, does it, does it appear to be like a big widespread severe weather outbreak as we head into the morning hours of Thursday of next week? But that's something we can watch carefully as well, because remember, it's severe weather season. And usually as we approach mid to late April, and of course throughout May into the first half of June is when we get a lot of severe weather activity uh, that will that will be uh, happening uh, across parts of, uh, parts of the United States region, and still Thursday morning. So this again, so it looks like Thursday morning of next week here. This is the 18th. We're still expecting some storms to happen. So if you so look, if this forecast doesn't change much here, it looks like Thursday morning of the 18th could be a little bit of a messy uh, commute to work and school because it looks like we'll see a chance for some strong to severe storms. But uh, again, it's just, like I said, we're still a week off, and you, you may never know that could change. 
as we get closer, like I said, as always, so please check, just check back with me here 24-7 for more additional changes for uh, that uh, forecast. And as we head into uh, Thursday afternoon of next week, it looks it does put a show on the GFS. The rain continue for our viewing area, but it looks like that should be pushing up towards the East Coast region. Uh, temperatures for highs looks to be still even much warmer. We're still talking about uh, temperatures for highs remaining in the uh, 70s. But it looks like our next cold front will be moving through, coming in from the west and pushing off towards the East Coast region as we head into at least as we head into maybe just in time as we head into the Easter holiday weekend, which is next weekend. If we look at the uh, precipitation type values, so like I said, there could be a few leftover showers by Thursday afternoon of Thursday afternoon of next week, as this uh, system system continues to move off towards the east. I think we should be looking pretty dry uh, by then. <clears throat> All right, as we head into next Friday, April the 19th. Uh, by the way, next Friday is Good Friday. That's the kickoff to the Easter holiday weekend. And it looks like uh, there may be a few isolated showers uh, left over for our viewing area as this big system moves off towards the East Coast. But uh, I know, of course, I understand that, you know, that uh, beginning next weekend is the big travel, you know, for Easter. So if you're, if you're planning on traveling uh, out of Nashville next Friday, whether you're heading to the East Coast, we'll say from to Orlando, to maybe Atlanta, Alabama, or the at least for rest of the at least for much for much of the entire East Coast region. Uh, unfortunately, as of right now, it looks like the weather may be too may be too unsettled. So wouldn't be surprised if we see some delays, major flight delays uh, for uh, Good Friday. But the weather for Middle Tennessee again should be looking okay <clears throat> uh, for right now. As far as temperatures go for highs, we're expecting temperatures to be uh, we're expecting the temperatures to be much cooler. And this is our head of our next uh, cold front. We be, we could be watching carefully. That could really cool down our temperatures into the uh, 50s and maybe to near 60 degrees as we kick off the uh, the holiday Easter weekend. Again, that's this is next Friday, the 19th. So that's Good Friday. Temperatures so temperatures will be a little bit cooler though across parts of the parts of the uh, plains as well, with highs only in the uh, 60s. In parts of South Texas, Texas could see high temperatures getting close to near 70 as well as we head into the uh, Good Friday holiday. <clears throat> All right, as we head into um, Saturday, April the 20th, it looks like uh, still the GFS shows there could be a few leftover showers for Middle Tennessee, but for the most part, this big system should be, should be moving off towards the East Coast region. But look at the Plains region. You see the weather looks to be looking dry for some travel uh, weather, or at least for travel day for the Easter weekend. Again, this is Saturday the 20th, and it looks like it could be a new system, but this one up towards the northwest will not be too widespread at the moment, but you may never know. That could change, but let's hope the weather stays really dry for the Easter holiday weekend for parts of the United States region, and temperatures looks to be still much cooler. So we're talking about temperatures getting uh, temp temperatures uh, starting to get cooler as we head into the Easter holiday weekend next weekend, beginning next Friday and continuing to next Saturday as well. We're talking about temperatures of uh, Still remaining very cooler in the 50s and to near 60. The temperatures may start to really warm back into the uh, 70s and 80s across parts of the Plains region as we head into that day as well. But look at Florida. It looks like temperatures may start to cool down a little bit because of, because of this uh, same system that bring, may bring the chance for showers and storms. Uh, with that same system, they'll bring us the chance for storms as we head into late next week. So wouldn't be surprised, but you may never know. Remember, this is just pure land of voodoo and things, remember, could change as we get closer. <clears throat> All right, as we head into uh, Easter Sunday, the 21st, it looks like the weather should be looking pretty dry, so let's hope, let's hope it stays that way. Same thing for much of the Plains region, it's looking pretty much to be rain-free, but of course, there's another system we could also watch carefully. But again, this one does not appear to be, to be as big, but that's something we can watch carefully, like I said. But if we look at the high temperatures for Easter Sunday, it looks like we'll start to warm back up where we should be, back into the uh, 70s uh, for uh, that day, and also talking about some low ADC across parts of Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, and only as far north, they'll say as far north as Wisconsin. So again, they're talking about some spring-like uh, temperatures with, uh, you know, with sunshine as well as we head into, uh, again, this is for Sunday the 21st. Again, that's Easter Day. So it looks like, again, for Middle Tennessee, if you are if you have plans that day, which I know everybody does, I think for now the weather looks to be, looks to be okay, but again, you still may want, to, may want to check back here 24-7 because, again, we're still a couple weeks off or, yeah, a couple weeks away uh, from Easter. But uh, that's what we call this. That's what, this is why we call this the pure land of voodoo. <clears throat> All right. As we head into the day after Easter, this is Monday, April the 22nd. This is the day a lot of people will be heading back to work. Kids, kids head back to school. 
uh, after the after the long three day holiday weekend. It looks like the weather for now for our viewing area looks to be uh, mostly dry. We're expecting more sunshine to kick off the uh, uh, the following week as we uh, get to uh, late April. But again, here's this uh, same system we'll be watching carefully that will stay over towards the west and to the north as we kick off as we kick off the uh, the following week of the twenty uh, second. And temperatures for highs looks to be uh, still warmer. So we'll still talk about temperatures in the uh, 70s as we head into the 22nd of April. And still, look at the temperatures here across parts of Texas and Oklahoma. They're talking about low to possibly even mid-80s to start off the 22nd of uh, April. And with this uh, new system, they'll be staying up towards the Midwest region and across parts of the northern plains. That could cool down temperatures a little bit. So, so it doesn't seem to be, it doesn't appear to be like, a, excuse me, it does not appear to be like a big widespread severe weather uh, outbreak across parts of the uh, plains region. But you remember, this is two weeks so tweaks out, and that could change as we get closer. And again, here's the precip type values. So again, for now, just some rain showers across parts of the uh, upper Midwest region. But for Middle Tennessee and across much of the East Coast, we should be looking pretty okay for, like I said, not just for Easter Day, which is on the 21st, but also as we kick off the new work week beginning on Monday, April the uh, 22nd. All right, as we head into Tuesday, April the 23rd, it looks like, uh, at least for the most part, Middle Tennessee's weather, look, weather looks to stay pretty dry, but it looks like this uh, new system may uh, begin to uh, blossom a bit. <clears throat> that could bring a uh, good chance for some rain across parts of the Midwest region, from St. Louis to uh, Chicago to, we'll say, Grand Rapids and Michigan, into parts of Kentucky and Indiana. But if we look at the uh, high temperatures down below that, it looks to be, well, for us, since, since we'll be mostly dry again at, on the 23rd, if this, for, if this forecast is correct, we're talking about temperatures mostly in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees, but look at this here. We're talking about temperatures feeling more like summer across parts of Texas and Oklahoma with high temperatures in the upper 80s to near 90 as we head into that day. And here's the precipitation type values, and again, so I guess since temperatures may be a little bit warm enough across parts of the Midwest region, there could be a few strong storms, but in terms of severe weather, right now the severe threat appears to be on the, we'll say the, from the marginal to the slight risk uh, side here, from Chicago to um, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, across parts of uh, St. Louis and down towards the south. But again, this is two weeks out, and you may never know, that could change, as always, as we get as we get closer. So just please check back with me here 24-7, like, like tomorrow morning for the next uh, video update on the weather on Facebook Live, uh, <clears throat> you know, for additional changes. And I, I asked, we are ugh, talking too fast here. <laughs> again, bear, again, just bear with me. This is Wednesday, April the twenty fourth. It looks like uh, looks like the rain chances. Excuse me. It looks like the rain chances may not be as too widespread, but there could be a few showers across parts of our viewing area. But it looks like for now, the the, big, the biggest rain chance will stay up to the north across parts of the Ohio parts of the Ohio Valley and across parts of the Great Lakes region. But much of the entire southeast looks to stay pretty dry at least as we head into the following week. And then yet again, here comes another system that could try to potentially develop across parts of the West Coast region that could bring. Uh, the chance for some rain and maybe a little snow, if this if if this is correct here. But again, this is just pure land of voodoo. Uh, temperatures uh, looks to be whoa. We're talking about temperatures, you know, feeling much warmer as we head into the twenty fourth of April. Again, this is the following Wednesday. This is the following week uh, from tomorrow. We're talking not just upper seventies, but maybe even low to mid eighties. Could be feel a little humid uh, for Middle Tennessee as we head into. Uh, the twenty fourth of April and look at the temperatures across parts of uh, Kansas to Oklahoma and Texas. Upper 80s and low 90s, so that's why summer could come a little early for parts of the South as we head into, as we head into the rest of this month of April. So we'll see what happens, but you may never know that could change. And here's the precipitation type ice, and again, it looks like the big chance for some rain will stay up to the north. But again, uh, looks like the severe threat will appear, appear to be on the low side as this rain, as the rain, the big chance of rain will stay up to the north. Uh, but uh, you may never know that could change. All right, as we uh, end this forecast here for tonight, this is for uh, Thursday, April the 25th. It looks like uh, still uh, this is show, doesn't show a whole lot of rain here for Middle Tennessee. It's so just a few showers, what it shows as we head into both on the uh, uh, 24th and the 25th of this month of April. So that's on a Wednesday and Thursday of the following week. So it seems like a good chance for some precipitation will stay up to the north of where we are. And high temperatures uh, down below that. Oh, my goodness. We're talking about temperatures rising into the 80s. From Middle Tennessee, and that could stretch across parts of Illinois all the way up towards Ohio. So that's going to feel pretty, a little bit hot and humid. So it's going to feel, like, so it's going to feel like an early summer-like pattern. 
uh, for the much of the south and across parts of the Ohio Valley region as we head into uh, the following week. Again, this is for Thursday the 25th. But again, it's two weeks away. And remember, that could always change as we get closer. But again, here's precipitation type ice. And again, there could be a few showers here for the day on the 25th. Uh, and of course, on the 24th as well for Middle Tennessee. But a good chance the rain will stay up to the north. But in terms of severe weather, let's see. Uh, right now, there could be maybe a few severe storms possible across parts of the Midwest region, but uh, especially since there'll be maybe, maybe some cooler temperatures with these uh, showers and storms across parts of Iowa and, and Wisconsin, the severe threat appears to be on the low side. But you may never know. Like I said, that could always change as we get closer. So please check back with me here 24-7 for more additional changes to uh, that uh, forecast as we get closer to the following week. Anyway, well, that's it for this uh, forecast video update on this uh, Tuesday evening. I'll be back here first thing tomorrow morning, uh, probably around 9 o'clock or so, because I, I know I don't have to work uh, tomorrow, but uh, I'll try to be up around 8.30 and try to do the video on time at around 9 a.m. or so in the morning, so I hope you can join me live on Facebook then. And I'll continue, as always, by posting more notes or updates on my blog and Facebook pages uh, 24-7. But in the meantime, thank you all for watching me, watching me here live on this evening edition of this forecast video update here live on Facebook. And again, hope to see you guys first thing in the morning. And of course, hope you enjoy another beautiful uh, day tomorrow before we have a next chance for rain that will be potentially move into Middle Tennessee as we head into uh, the, the end of this week. So again, uh, I'll see you in the morning and hope you all have a great night. God bless.